All right, hello everybody. It is Fitness Friday. I am um, not at the DAC today this morning to record the workouts, but again, as mentioned before, the workouts that I give you all can really just be done anywhere with or without equipment. So right now I'm going to run you through, uh, we'll do our general warm up, and then our set today is about 25 minutes long. Okay, and again, it, this could be extended um, if you wish to do that. So let's get started with the warm up. I have three exercises that we will run through three times and then uh, we'll get into the set. Okay, so right now we're going to jog in place. We're going to do some lateral lunges and then we're going to do some pushes with our arms. All right, so we're going to do, right now let's do 20 jogs in place, whether you're jumping up and down or we do it one step at a time, that's fine. We'll do 20 of them total. Okay, ready? I'll do 10 running and then 10 where I walk here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, we will now do five lunges to the right and then five lunges to the left. All right, we can raise our arms up in between, four, five, stand up tall, we'll do the left side, one, two, three, four, five. All right, now with your hands, we're going to push forward, bring them back into your chest, and then push up. We'll do those 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good those three exercises we'll run through two more times starting out with the 20 steps in place okay and one two three four eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen eighteen two more nineteen and twenty good five steps to the right Five steps to the left. Two, three, four, five, and then five here. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. And to finish, we'll do our pushes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Relax, shake out anything else. We'll go through those one more time, okay? Have some water readily available so that you have it throughout our set later. One more time to warm up. Back to our jog, ready? One, two, six, eight, nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. Five steps to the right. Arms up overhead. Two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four and five good and we'll push forward and then up one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good relax those arms we'll take a second here well, I'll explain what we're going to do next. We have three groups of exercises with three exercises in each group. So our first segment is going to focus on our lower body, our lower half. The second group of three will focus on our upper body. And then our third set is going to be our core. So our front and our back, all right? We are going to do three exercises for a total of three minutes. So 
Right now we have three lower, three lower body exercises. We're gonna do some calf raises, some hip bridges, and then some hip openers. And we're going to continuously go through those three exercises for those three minutes. And then we'll take a little bit of rest and we'll do three new exercises also for three minutes. Take some rest and then do it one more time for three minutes. Okay, so right now we're going to do, to start off with, we have 10 calf raises, right? So I'm gonna be flat, my feet are flat. I'm gonna come up on my toes and back down. We'll do 10 of those. Then we'll sit down wherever you're at, laying down at home on a mat. We're going to do 10 hip bridges where we lay down flat and we push our hips up and then lower them back down to the ground, okay? And then to finish, we're going to do our hip openers. So we're gonna bring our knee up and then turn it over to the side. And we'll do five to the right, five to the left, okay? Those three exercises for three minutes, I have a stopwatch here that I'm gonna start and then I'll explain the next three exercises, okay? So give me one second here. I'm gonna start our timer for three minutes. All right, so th within those three minutes, we have our 10 calf raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And this is going to be at your own, at your own pace, okay? If I'm going too fast or too slow, you can speed it up, slow it down, do what you like there, okay? Now I'm gonna lay down. We have 10 hip bridges, 10 hip bridges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, relax. And you'll stand up and we'll do our hip openers. Again, we'll do five to the right, and then we'll do five to the left. Three, bring the knee up and over. Four, five, and our left side up, over. Two, three, four, five. Good, so now we're about a minute and 20 seconds in. We're going to do those again, all right? Going right into it with our calf raises, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, I'll lay back down for the hip bridges. Just lay down flat, feet are about shoulder width apart and push those hips up into the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, we have less than a minute to get in as many hip openers here. One, two, three, four, and five, and then we'll do our left side. One, two, three, four, and five. And I do have a little bit of time left. I'm going right into my calf raises to finish the three minutes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, and wherever you are at within those exercises, go ahead and stop right there. That was the end of three minutes. Okay, we're going to take a little rest while I explain the next th the next three, and those are going to be our upper body work our upper body workout. So we're going to take our hands, and we are going to swing them around our head. All right, we can hold on to something. You don't need to hold on to anything. And we're going to do five circles to the right, and then five circles to the left around our neck, not moving our head. We're going to keep it nice and still. And then we're going to do a bicep curl. You can open your hands. Again, hold on to some weights or some cans. We'll do bicep curls. And then we are going to do a raise. We'll do five raises with our right. Just coming diagonally across the chest and then five with our left. 
Okay, so for three minutes, starting in 15 seconds, we're going to start out with five circles around our head to the right and five to the left. All right, we'll do those three exercises for three minutes and then finish with our last three. Okay, in three, two, one, take your hands around your head. Two, three, four, five, and then we'll switch directions the best you can. Two, three, four, and five. Again, you don't want to move your head forward and back. Just move those hands around the head, all right? 10 bicep curls with our arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, and then five raises with our right arm, coming across our chest right at the hip. Reach it up over, one, two, three, four, five. Put your right arm down, we'll do five to our left. One, two, three, four, and five, good. Now we'll go back to our overhead circles again. We'll take time to rest after our three minutes is up. So try to go right into these three, four, five, and five the other direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, going right into our bicep curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, relax, check it out. Right arm over, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll do our left arm. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Back to our arm circles. We have under a minute here, about 40 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. A couple more. We have about 30, 30 seconds, less than that. Bicep curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm going to stop right there. That is the end of the next three minutes, okay? We did our lower body segment. We did our upper body. Now we're going to do a little bit of core work. So starting right here, we're going to do a standing core twist where I stick my arms straight out and I'm going to keep my head facing, my, my face facing forward. I'm going to turn to the right five times and then we'll do five to our left side, okay? So we have our standing core twist. We're going to do a hip hinge exercise where we work our lower back and even a little bit of our hamstrings. I'll put my hands right behind my ears and I'm just going to bend forward, keeping my legs rather straight and stand back up, okay? We'll do those and then we'll finish with spreading our legs apart here, touching our left toe, and then standing up. And then we'll do our other leg, all right? And we'll do 10 of those. So starting out with our core twist, we will leave in 15 seconds, okay? Just so we can keep track here of the time, much better. We'll do five core twists to the right, and then five core twists to the left, all right? And in five, four, three, two, one. Arms straight out. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do five to our left side. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. We have our hip hinge. Put your fingertips right behind your ears. Don't pull on your neck or your head. 
We're just going to bend forward and stand up. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Good, our legs will come apart. We're going to do 10 standing cross toe touches, coming down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, relax, shake out. We'll go right back up to the top with our core twists. Okay, arms out, five to the right. One, two, three, four, five, and five to the left. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, relax. We have our 10 hip hinges, hands up overhead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, legs apart. Cross underneath, touch that toe and stand up. Three, four, halfway, six, seven, eight, two more. Nice, stand up nice and tall in between and relax. We have about 15 seconds to go, so I'm going to start out with, we'll do our core twists. For me, this will finish up the three minutes. Three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, and five. Relax. All right, you guys, take some extra rest, okay? Those three segments of exercises, we're going to do those one more time, but I'm not going to put it on the clock, okay? So with our, we have our calf raises, our hip bridges, and our hip openers. We're just going to run through those three one time, and then we'll do our three upper body, and then our three core exercises before we finish, okay? So go drink some water, walk around for just a second, and then we'll finish up the second half of this video with one more round of those three groups, okay? So just a reminder, calf raises, we'll do 10, 10 calf raises, 10 hip bridges on the ground where you push up toward the ceiling or the sky. And then we'll do our hip openers, five with our right leg, five with our left leg, okay? Give us about 10 more seconds here. Again, this isn't going to be on a time, but just to give you a little more rest. Three, two, one, 10 calf raises, one. Two, I'll turn to the side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up on your toes, nine and ten. Good. Ten hip bridges on the ground. Feet flat, our hands are flat. Neck is back. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Relax. All right, we will stand up. Five hip openers to the right. One, two, three, four, five, and five with our left. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Stop. Stop where you're at, okay? 
We'll do our three upper body, our three core exercises, and then we will be finished, okay? So starting with our overhead raises, our overhead circles around our head, and then we'll do our bicep curls and our, our cross reaches here, okay? Ready? In five, four, three, two, one. We have five circles to the right overhead and five to the left. Three. And one more. And switch directions. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Ten bicep curls. One, two. Keep it slow and controlled. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Spread those legs apart just a little bit. Starting with our right hand right at our left tip, and we'll bring it up straight. One, two, three, four, five, and five to our left. Left arm at our right hip. One. Two, three, four, and five. Good. And one second here. Good. All right. And relax right where you're at. Okay. So now we have our last set of our core exercises with our standing core twist, our hip hinge, and then our standing toe and up. All right, ready? Standing core twist, five to the right, five to the left. Two, three, four, five, and five to the left. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, I'll turn to this side here. Put, we'll put our hands right behind our ears. Again, don't pull on that neck. We'll do 10 hip hinges. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, and 10. Good, this is our last exercise. Just a reminder, legs apart, we're going to do our standing toe, um, standing toe crossover reach here, okay? Legs apart, we'll come down to our left side, stand up, and two, three, four, five, six, four more, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good and stop if you are finished. Again, that first half was on a time and you can kind of do those at your own, your own pace. But these last three, make sure, make sure you get all those exercises in just one more time before you start to stretch at the end, okay? That was it for the workout. I'm not going to walk you through some stretches. I'll let you do that uh, sort of on your own. Take about 10 minutes to do that, okay, you guys? And I will see you on Monday at the DAC for another motivational class. Okay, enjoy the weekend and I will see you guys soon. Bye.